Hello, welcome to Garden Chronicles. I am James David and in today's video, I'll be talking about this particular fragrant flowering plant commonly known as water jasmine. Also scientifically known as Vritia religiosia. Here in this video, I'll be sharing some of the pointers and experiences on how I cultivate and care for this particular plant. So sit back and enjoy the show. Just a little bit of an introduction on this particular jasmine. This particular one is very much famously known as a sacred jasmine and was very much revered as a holy sacred flowering plant. Apart from these religious uses, this particular tree also cultivated for bonsai making. In the beginning, I tried to grow this particular plant using cuttings but however, with many unsuccessful trials, I have decided to grow this using seeds. It did took a very long time for it to establish itself, but somehow when it actually grew well, it appears to be very hardy and strong. I will come more to the details on how I have cultivated them using seeds, but for now I just want to show to you these flowers where it appears to be pendulous and cascading. As you can see, the flowers are actually in white and this will be the appearance. The fragrance, however, will last at least about two to three weeks depending on the element of the flowering structure. If you were to look at the structure of the crown, I have been actually trimming down and trying to make a DIY of my own bonsai style. I have not been using any of any of the techniques so far but it's just more on my own style of doing it. And the element here is that uh, trimming it down and keeping it small seems to work very well because I don't want them to grow into a very huge tree. A little bit of the flowers, this will last about one to two weeks time and eventually everything will fall off. This is the main trunk. If you have noticed that it's not very tall, I have actually chopped off into half a few years back and I'm just maintaining it here. Now you, you will look that after about a few months, this is how it appears to be. And my, one of my tips here is that you will see that uh, uh, on the root area here, a lot of these small saplings, these young shoots will appear. Normally what I'll do is I'll just pinch off everything off and just keep the trunk empty. Also, once a year, what I will do here is that I will unpot this whole root ball, shake them off with all of the roots. Uh, of course, I will change to a new potting medium. But when I repot them, I will slightly raise up the root ball so that the, the old roots will somehow will appear to be protruding on the uh, flower pot. Just that I want to give that very aged kind of a look. And this is how I actually do it by raising the root ball up. So in each year, I will just raise it up slightly higher. And so there will be more of the roots being exposed. I just want to show to you how it's been done. So it will have something like a ginseng kind of an effect by, by actually raising up. So you see where I'm actually pulling off the, the, the sprouts and this... Uh, Think that is great that is actually the original place of how it was in the beginning so in each year that i'll just continue to plant the root ball down a bit raise them up higher a bit so in that way i will have this ancient look like when it comes to the roots of course, uh, another factor that I must mention here is that you don't really have to give so much of attention to it. Maybe like three months once, two months once, you just have a look at it and when it's needed, 
uh, just give that little bit of attention that's required and when you really have the time then you can actually do a report of raising the root ball up so this is one portion of creating a diy bone size as in again i said that want to mention to you uh, i am actually cultivating based on my idea and my style of doing it i'm pretty sure there are a lot of rules and regulation on how to handle it but this is my own fun way of doing it I also have been constantly trimming off the top crown as and when I find that it appears to be a bit messy uh, but however I, I like the way that it's been appearing just want to have a little bit of an age old tree kind of a situation and so how somehow I'm, I'm actually happy with this miniature sh shrub kind of plant which appears to be more like a treat for me. Here in this picture I want to show to you how I actually grew them using seeds and it actually have grew two of these plants and one I have given away as a gift and as when it actually grows bigger what I actually do is I strip off the leaves if you can see over here how big the leaves are and when I constantly strip off the leaf I'll just keep it smaller so in each time that the leaves grows bigger i trim it and make it smaller and eventually when that has occurs what happened here is that in each cycle of trimming and removing of the leaves the the leaves will appear to become smaller and smaller and smaller so this is one of my styles that i do not let the this shrub to have big huge leaves rather i'll just make sure and keep an eye that all the leaves remain small and and tidy because uh, in giving the leaves to be appear to become very big then it will not have this miniature bonsai form now coming back to other main essential especially when it comes to lighting these do require strong bright direct light it will not bloom in shaded areas that are one of the things that i've noticed is here is that uh, these are actually sun lovers and the other factor here is uh, when it comes to soil medium uh, a regular potting medium will do however i would recommend to make it more uh, fast draining medium because uh, if it can have a root rot if it's going to be a soggy medium when it is actually exposed to the sun uh, i believe uh, it can actually also expose to sun and rain uh, on a normal regular day uh, daily watering will do and just observe and see that not to make the plant go wilting without many days without water but however i notice that this is a hardy plant and it will just do fine regularly like uh, when i actually water my garden i just spray water on them just like any other plants I do also keep an eye on pest and it can be a menace when especially you can get mealy bugs and scale insects on them and one of the main culprits are actually the ants farming on them. So in case we were to find any pest on it then uh, a regular pesticide uh, will actually help but uh, in my case I have actually noticed that there is no attack so far on them and I have not used any pesticide ever since uh, the other element here is uh, uh, I also use foliar fertilizer time to time uh, the one of the other factors here is that I'm a bit concerned here is that I don't want this particular bonsai kind of plant to grow very big so I do not uh, apply strong fertilizer on them for this reason i must say that uh, this particular uh, jasmine plant do not bloom regularly it's very much seasonal for me and uh, one of the things is that when they do bloom it somehow give a very kind of a mystical uh, ambience in my garden especially the fragrance I have actually come to the conclusion of my video. This is very much a light and easy video for me and I hope you enjoyed the show. And if you have any questions, do put the comment below and I'll try my best to answer it as my best ability as possible. I would really appreciate if you can click like and subscribe my channel and support my channel and see you in my next video. Take care.